Good morning, welcome to another session of OCD. Welcome to my workshop. Um, something slightly different this morning. Um, about three and a half years ago, I guess, I put a ceramic coating on the wheels of the X3. Um, and I've maintained them well since then and um, they've been performing really well and it was one of the best things that I ever put on the car. It's really made it easy to keep the wheels clean and they are, they're lovely and clean. The car is um, best part of five years old now um, and they're as good as new. Um, so today I'm going to take the wheels off and I'm going to uh, give them a thorough decon and then we're going to apply another coat of um, ceramic coating. Uh, and this time I'm using a different one. Last time I used, um, I think it was C5 wheel armour, Gion C5 wheel armour. Um, this time I'm using Garage Therapy um, Hades um, ceramic coating. Um, so it doesn't say anywhere on the box or the packaging how long it's supposed to last. Um, Gion uh, stated two years, it did two years. Maintaining it well, looking after it, it did two years easy. Um, so we're going to put this on today. So without further ado, let's get the wheels off, get them in here, get them in here and uh, get them sorted. Okay, so the wheels off. First thing I'm going to do is clean the wall of the tyre, front and back. Now obviously the front's been cleaned and treated before the back hasn't so uh, let's move you back a little bit so that you don't get too splashed. And I'm using rebound tyre and rubber. I've got a solution of zero um, in the bucket and I've got a solution of zero in my foamer for the wheel. Okay, so that's the tyre clean and we'll treat that with uh, serum before we put it all back on. Now let's uh, clean the wheel itself. So in here I have a solution of uh, zero and I've got uh, 740 millilitres of hot water and uh, 40 millilitres of product. I'm just going to work that in with a detail brush. In the bucket I have a solution of um, a gallon of uh, hot water and um, again 40 millilitres of product. And as I was hoping and expecting, it's all pretty clean. Especially when you think, last time I cleaned this car was nearly 2,000 miles ago. And all this has had in the last three and a half years is basically 
garage therapy one wheel shampoo and uh, spray on rinse off sealant and even that didn't get right in that's mainly aimed at the front of the wheel some of it will get on the barrel but not not a lot right let's do uh, let's do the wipe test on it shall we see whether we need to clean it some more There we go, pretty clean. Give it another go. All the way around. A little bit of dirt on there, but not much. A more wipe round should do that. There you go. Happy with that. Right. Front. worried for a minute. I thought that was a scuff. Looks like a bit of tar or something. Thank God for that. Right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, get that dry and then we're going to go over it with um, some tar remover, make sure there's no tar on it anywhere especially on the uh, drum inside because it's all black and it's not that easy to see so we go over it all with some uh, tar remover and then we'll go over it with some iron out so let me go and dry it first This is uh, Kotkemi um, EU. We do the other side. I know there's none on the other side, but we're going to use it anyway. It smells horrible. It smells really chemically chemical. But then I suppose that's what you expect. Can't smell the roses like me.
Okay, let's put that horrible stuff away. That cock cam is really effective, but just whoa, the fumes just get to you. Right, carriage therapy, zero iron oxide. So we'll start on the inside. Won't that smell much better, does it? Okay, now I don't know whether you can pick this up on the camera but you can see there's lots of streaks of iron in there so that's been just two or three minutes so I'll give it another minute or so and then we're going to uh, give that a bit of a massage in so foam it up a little bit and we'll leave it a little bit longer Right, so like I said, it's all foamed up, so I'm going to leave that another minute or so, and then we we'll give that a good rinse. Right, it's going to do exactly the same to the front now. I'm going to have almost zero uh, on that. Zero. Do you get that? We'll have almost zero on it. <laughs> oh, that's a way I tell them. Right, so there we go. I've um, had that on there for about four minutes, five minutes, and I've agitated it. And uh, as you would expect on the front of my wheels, no iron. So let's get rid of that. Okay, using the uh, zero solution that I've got in my bucket, I'm going to just go through and using a clay pad, go around and clay the inside. So that's the wheel dry now. That's the oh, let's turn that around. Not easy to do with one end. And as you can see on the inside, that is absolutely spotless. Absolutely spotless. That's what a ceramic coating and a good wheel shampoo on a regular basis keeps your wheels looking like that. So, right, what I'm going to do now is we we'll leave that to thoroughly dry and uh, we're going to start work cleaning the inside of that. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is just put some zero on it.
but we'll just let that dwell for a few minutes. Right, we'll just let that iron oxide dwell for a while and then we'll come in and give it a good thorough wash. This is uh, Atomac 5% Right, cock cami plaster. Needless to say, you wouldn't work on a car like this with just a jack. I've also got an axle stand in there as well, so it's perfectly safe. So whatever you do, do not work on a car with just a jack. It's a really silly, dangerous thing to do. Right, there we go, nice and clean in there now and uh, we'll leave that to totally dry and then we'll come back and uh, put a ceramic coating on that um, when I've done the wheel. The, uh, this little plastic shroud that protects the um, protects against the flying um, counterweight in there has cracked so it's spinning round and that's what you can hear clicking and it's really annoying me it's a matter of time before I pull it off and throw it in the bin but uh, we carry on Okay, so there we go, that's the inside all prepared. Got to go over, over that with some um, panel wipe before we put anything on it, but that's ready to go now. So now I've got to do the other side. One last job before I put the panel wipe on just to make sure there's no polish or anything on there I'm going to go over once more with some zero
Right, well I've just been told lunch is ready. Well, I'd forgotten all about lunch. So, perfect timing really. This can sit out here and air. And when I come back, we'll put a panel wipe on it. Right, I'll see you after lunch.